So the demo that we're going to do is uh, we're going to run through a handful of demos built around this uh, data security uh, and compliance uh, use case that Ben highlighted. And so we're going to look at things like uh, watch terms, data leakage, um, integration with a real-time API, and then also we're going to show some visualization and reporting using standard enterprise reporting tools like Power BI. The data that we're using is from the open source Enron uh, email corpus, which we've shaped to conform with the Microsoft Graph Data Connect canonical model that we just took a look at. And this data set contains about 500,000 emails representing communication between about 80,000 email addresses. Yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting. And the fact that we're using Enron, I think, makes it a little more interesting. But let's take a look. All right, great, Ben. So the first demo that I want to show you is um, how we look at what are known as watch terms. So these are terms of interest. Right uh, in the in the communication stream, and so the application that I'm showing you right now is Neo4j's Bloom application, mm -hmm. which is a data visualization tool that we have. It can render up to 10,000 nodes in a single uh, in a single canvas, and so the way Bloom works is you can you know you can explore terms you know in an ad hoc basis and kind of construct queries and things like that. Uh, the way we're going to use it is the way an enterprise analyst might use it. So the database developers, the Cypher developers would have uh, written a query, and then they can put it into Bloom, and then any analyst can access that query just using simple English mm -hmm. and run that query. And so uh, this is what we call the saved Cypher pane. And so we're going to run this query. And here you can see the query in Cypher. And so you know these are parameterized queries that a developer could set up, and then the whole and then the whole enterprise could then use this tool to access those those published queries and run them. And that's really establishing a set of related terms, essentially, right? That's right. Yeah. And and basically making the uh, tool accessible to a large number of, of analysts within the organization. Right. And so um, and you'll notice here. Uh, I just have to start, type a couple of characters, and it already finds uh, the query that we want to run. And so here we'll take a look at emails by watch term. Mm -hmm. And so you can see it pulls up right out of the gate about 1,000 emails associated with different watch terms. And you can see here, these are the emails. And in orange, we have the different watch terms. Now, that's a lot, this is a lot of data that's being pulled up. And so we want to uh, narrow this down. And so what we can do is we can actually use the NLP categories for these different terms uh, that we've established. Mm -hmm. And we can say, let's look at all terms under the legal umbrella. And, right. and so I'll go ahead and we'll put in legal here. And now you can see that we're dealing with quite a bit uh, smaller amount of data. Let me just zoom out here. We can look at one of these subgraphs. Mm -hmm. And here, of course, you're seeing legal terms like attorney, right? Now, recall that we pre-processed all the data using Azure Cognitive Services, and we did a sentiment analysis. Right. So now what we can do is we can then filter uh, not only on, the, on these category of terms, but also on the tone of the email. And so, and so we'll go ahead and we'll filter this body down, uh, this query down, and we'll find emails where not only are they in the legal category, but the tone of that email indicates some level of severity. Right. And by severity, you essentially mean alarm, right? Exactly. It's the human exactly. tone of the email. And so just to you know put some color around this, recall that this is the Enron data set. And um, yeah, there's a bunch of emails, and the watch term here is investigation, and the sentiment is severe. Right. Unsurprising. Unsurprising. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 